Welcome to Savage Kitchen. Today we are making three cocktails inspired by Barbie. I am a Barbie girl and we are in a Barbie world. I have to admit, I sort of hate how much I love all of this buzz around Barbie and I just can't help myself. It's too much fun. So our first cocktail will be a Malibu Barbie followed by Peaches and Cream Barbie and wrapping it up with Magic Moves Barbie. There are chapter marks in the description below. So if you wanna jump ahead to a particular cocktail, by all means. Otherwise, let's go on this journey together. For our first Barbie cocktail, we are going to be channeling Malibu Barbie. I feel like most of the Barbie knowing world has heard of Malibu Barbie. And this is sort of like the no brainer excuse for a tropical coconut cocktail. Because I'm not a monster, I'm not actually using Malibu. I'm using Shipwreck Coconut Rum. It's one of my favorites. If you've been with me for a while, you know how much I love this brand. Other things you're gonna need, some Cointreau, an orange liqueur, some grenadine. Get the good stuff, not that roses garbage in the grocery store. You can either make your own, you can order this at Savage Kitchen. Uh, Libra & Co makes a nice one. Good grenadine is key. And then some lemon juice, because it's Barbie. We're gonna have a little fun with the rim and do a pink sugar rim. And then I got this uh, edible food glitter, which I realized after purchasing it is actually a spray. So I don't know, I don't know, we're either gonna spray this on the top or I might just, I don't know, pour some of it in. We'll see. All right, first things first, since we're going to do a rim on this glass, we wanna do that before making the cocktail because it's kind of hard to rim a glass once you've got liquid in it. So you can just take the cut edge of a lemon Go around the edge of your glass. You could also do this with simple syrup, like if you ever have had a margarita with a salt rim, usually just dip it in simple syrup and it's salt, same concept. And then we are going to take this lovely pink sugar and just drag our rim through it. I mean, if that doesn't scream Barbie, I don't know what does. So pretty. All right, let's set this aside while we build our cocktail into the shaker with ice. And then our first ingredient that I didn't mention when we were talking before is actually coconut cream. I get the little coconut cream in the can as opposed to that nonsense coconut real stuff. It's just 100% pure coconut cream and it's delicious and it's very inexpensive. So two ounces of this. I also recommend doing this as your first ingredient because the cream is gonna coat this jigger and then uh, the rest of our ingredients will help clean it out. A, so your OCD is satisfied, and B, so you get the full two ounces that you're using. Next up, two ounces of our shipwreck coconut rum or whatever coconut rum you can find. Koloa makes a really nice one. Just like, try to not do Malibu, even though this is a Malibu Barbie. I mean, if it's all you got, fine, but you might as well be drinking a bottle of sunscreen. And then half ounce of our Cointreau and a half ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. So this recipe is actually a recipe I developed a couple years ago for a Valentine's Day challenge. I needed something pink. This was the coconut crush. And then half an ounce of our grenadine. This is gonna give us that pink color, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna add some pink glitter to this because why not? Barbie would. I don't know, whoa. I'm not sure how much to put in. Eh? <laughs> I, I couldn't even tell you a measurement on that one. Just guess, have fun. Glitter everywhere. Oh my God, look like a stripper. All right, shake it up. Oh, it is so pink. This is everything I wanted for a Barbie cocktail. It's pink. It's like it's Wednesday. I love this. I don't know that you can really see that there's glitter in here. It might have a touch of a shimmer, but it is more pink than the cocktail normally is without the glitter. So seems like a win. All right, let's give her a try. Mm. Oh my God. That's an instant vacation. I mean, the pink rim is fun. 
as somebody who enjoys drinking cocktails, I don't always love a rim on a glass. Usually I prefer half a glass, but you know, when in Rome or Barbie land. However, mm, the contents of this cocktail remain one of my favorites. Absolutely fabulous. All right, let's move on to number two. For this next cocktail, we are traveling back to my childhood, my early to mid eighties childhood. And we are doing peaches and cream Barbie. I loved this Barbie. I had this Barbie. I had completely forgotten about this until all of the movie promotions started coming out and I saw images of like Barbie throughout the years. And when I tell you that the memories came flooding back, it's kind of wild. So for this cocktail, we are going to make a bourbon peach milkshake because if I were a Barbie, I would be bourbon Barbie, obviously. Things you're gonna need for this drink bourbon of choice. I'm also adding this apricot uh, Luxardo liqueur. This isn't 100% necessary. It just adds a nice little extra dimension and I had it, I'm gonna use it. If you don't have this, don't feel like you need to go buy an extra bottle of something. This is fantastic with just the bourbon. I'm also adding a little bit of peach syrup that I made. Again, not strictly necessary. And also keep your eyes open. I'm gonna be offering this on savagekitchen.com very soon. We're just working on shelf stability. Uh, but this is gonna add a little bit of color and just a little bit of extra sweetness to our milkshake. And then vanilla ice cream. And finally, peaches. You want a really ripe, very juicy peach in life and cocktails. If you don't know how to choose, I can't really help you, no, I'm kidding. If you don't know how to choose that, just when you're in the, uh, the produce section, pick it up if it has a little bit of give, still slightly firm to the touch, but just like a little bit of give, more around the tops and less in the side, it's like that perfect ripeness. It's just mushy all over, it might be a little too far gone. And there's probably other more scientific ways to tell, but that's how I do it and then a little bit of ice. But we're actually going to start with our vanilla ice cream because it's Phoenix and it's hot and this is already melting. So we're gonna do a giant heaping scoop of ice cream into our, ooh, Nutribullet. Ah, ice cream down. Perfect. And maybe a little bit more, yeah, scoop and a half. And this is going immediately back in the freezer. Also, if you don't have a Nutribullet, blender is fine for this. I just love the Nutribullet. It's easy for making single serving anything. Cut our peach, just right down the seam around the stone, and then twist white peaches. Now I'm gonna just cut off a little slice or two here for a garnish. And then the rest of this, I'm just gonna roughly chop and put in our container. And I'm leaving the skin on mostly because of the color, but also there's flavor there, there's texture. I tend to, when I'm baking to, I don't know why everybody is so like anti peach skin. There's all these like tips and hacks for how to remove peach skin, why? Mm. I like it. And when you're baking too, or trying to make jams or jellies, that's where the pectin lives. All right, scoop of ice, about a cup's worth, just depends on how diluted you might want your drink or maybe how many servings you're making. This is one. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of peach syrup. My hands are wet. There we go. I don't know, that was probably like eh, three quarters of an ounce. It's too hot to measure, <laughs> still. And then we're gonna add about two ounces of bourbon Whoa, that might have been a little heavy. It's fine, it's totally fine. And then about an ounce, or who knows how much I'm gonna pour of this apricot liqueur. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Listen, Barbie needs a drink, okay? And here we go. I feel like every bourbon distillery should have a peaches and cream milkshake, right? Who do I talk to about that? <sighs> oh, happiness. Oh, there's a little extra. Uh, news for me. Mm. Oh, fuck, that's good. Now let's 
garnish this with just a little peach slice. I'm just gonna cut a slit so we can hang this on the glass. Basically, in this instance, the garnish is serving as a snack because I like a snack with my milkshake. Ooh, you know what would be good on this? Urgh, some salted popcorn or some kettle corn. Yeah. All right. And now let's add a straw. Seems like cheating since I already tasted this, but, you know, for science. Oh, my God. Hmm. <sighs> I had a friend make this yesterday and he texted me afterwards that if he added protein powder to this, it would be healthy. Why, yes, yes it would. This is practically a vitamin. There's a whole fruit in there. Follow me for more health tips. Mm. I don't really wanna move on from this, but damn it, we have to. Number three. And finally, Magic Moves Barbie. I was discussing this little video with a friend and fellow YouTuber, Jen Jager. I'll put links to her below. And she was telling me that her favorite Barbie as a child was Magic Moves Barbie, which if you grew up in the 80s, Magic Moves Barbie was the one that had like a little lever in the back and the arms would like shoot up as if she was brushing her hair. Um, and she actually wore like a teal blue outfit with this white fringy fur. So for our cocktail, we're going blue and we're also going white. We're gonna add a little bit of egg white to the cocktail to get a nice foamy head on it. So things you're gonna need, pick your favorite gin, blue carousel, lemon juice. I'm gonna use just a touch of macadamia orgeat to sweeten this up a little bit and a whole egg white. Don't freak out. You've probably had egg white in a cocktail. I told Jen about this plan and she's like, ew, gross. Trust me, all the egg white does is it has a really silky texture and it gives that nice foam on a cocktail. So if you've ever been in a really nice cocktail bar and ordered a drink that was super silky, had a big head on it, probably egg white in a cocktail. If you are vegan or just really can't stand the thought of eggs, you can use something called aquafaba, which is the juice around chickpeas in a chickpea can, which personally, I find that disgusting. I'd rather do egg white. Um, and there's a couple of different foaming agents out there you can buy. I think Bitterman's makes one, but try the egg white. It's really not that bad. So since there is egg white in this cocktail, there's a little bit of technique involved. We're gonna do something that's called a dry shake, and that is going to emulsify all of our ingredients together and introduce a lot of air into the cocktail before we chill it and dilute it with ice. So into your shaker, a whole egg white, I feel like this goes without saying, but make sure you're using fresh eggs. And then we are doing a half ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of macadamia syrup, or if you have orgeat, which is made from almonds at home, you could use that. You could use a plain old simple syrup. You can order this on Savage Kitchen. And then a half ounce of our blue carousel. Actually, I'm gonna do that last because that stuff is really messy. It gets blue everywhere, hence my not using it very often. So two ounces of gin, half an ounce of blue curacao. And blue curacao is just an orange liqueur with food dye. Not my favorite thing. I was trying to develop this recipe using the Empress blue gin, but that actually tends to turn purple when you introduce citrus into it. So we're going blue curacao. Okay. So first, no ice in this round, just a dry shake. And you really wanna give it a good shake. Again, we're trying to introduce air bubbles into the cocktail. One of the things I love about this elevated craft shaker is that A, it stays sealed. So when you are vigorously shaking, you don't have to worry about leakage. But then you can also, when you're shaking something for a long time and there's pressure building up, you can just release the pressure did you hear that? Uh, by loosening that cap a little bit. All right. So now we're gonna add ice and then shake again. Ooh. So sort of like a Guinness, you wanna let that settle and let the foam come to the top. Kind of hypnotic watching the bubbles come to the surface too. 
All right, that's all the patience I have. Let's give her a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's just really light and refreshing and so smooth. That egg white just smooths out the citrus and the gin. Real good. I feel like you could play with this cocktail in so many ways too. If you enjoy something that's more floral, the introduction of maybe a a, a dry vermouth would be really good. Um, you could add more citrus if you want it to be a little bit more summery and light. Chartreuse might be really fun. Lots of options here. So there we have it. I don't know if you can tell by how much I've drunk of each of these, but this is my favorite, <laughs> clearly. Peaches and cream Barbie, all the way. Uh, but they're all really good. This is very tropical, vacation in a glass. This is just a decadent dessert milkshake that uh, is a happy place. And this is a little bit lighter, more refreshing. It's gonna satisfy your gin lovers. So let me know if you try them. Let me know if you have other Barbie cocktails you've tried. I know like the world is a Twitter right now with Barbie, which is kind of fun. I, uh, I love to hear your comments. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, friends.